Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make another recipe uh, which I remember from my school days and we had them with our school dinner and this is going to be jam roly-poly. So this is a, a suet pudding basically which is rolled out flat with a layer of jam put onto it and then you roll it up into a, like a Swiss roll, a log type shape and then you steam it and uh, it used to be steamed years ago uh, probably in long pans of uh, water but uh, these days it's more usually done in the oven wrapped in uh, parchment paper and uh, aluminium foil with some water in the bottom of the oven to create the steam so it's quite a simple recipe uh, and it's not overly sweet in terms of sugar because the jam inside gives it uh, a bit of a sweetness and you can use this same recipe for uh, the, the the pudding or the pastry basically but omit the sugar if you want to make a savoury version so for the ingredients I have 175 grams which is one cup plus three tablespoons of self-raising flour now if you can't get self-raising flour you can use plain flour but for each cup of plain flour take out two tablespoons um, of flour and add in two tablespoons of um, baking powder then I have 100 grams which is three quarters of a cup of suet and uh, traditionally you can you use beef suet but you could if you wanted to use vegetable suet and it's, it's just shredded basically I have five tablespoons 75 millilitres of milk I have 25 grams two tablespoons of sugar and I have 125 grams four tablespoons of uh, strawberry jam you could use strawberry, you could use raspberry, in fact you can use any jam you want or lemon curd or something like that um, but I'm using seedless strawberry for mine so I'll put that to one side for a minute um, and I should say I have my oven preheating at uh, 180 celsius that's 160 celsius with a fan 350 fahrenheit and I have some water boiled ready to go into a tray in the bottom of the oven so the first thing to do is to put the flour, the sugar and the suet into a larger bowl and then I'm using a knife I'm going to just give those a stir around to get those mixed in a little bit and then I'm simply going to add my milk and stir around again with the knife until it comes into a dough So I've worked that into a dough and I actually added one more teaspoon of milk um, and used my hands to pull it all together. So the next thing to do is to roll that out on a lightly floured work surface. And I want to roll it out to about 8 inches by 11 inches, um, 20 centimetres by 28 centimetres, so that's into a rectangle. So I'm just going to coat it with flour. And we want to get a fairly even thickness if we can. that's about right so then what I'm going to do I'm just actually going to 
patch that a little bit there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jam and I'm going to spread that onto the mixture, onto the dough should I say, but I want to leave a gap all the way round of about half an inch to an inch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll that up. So I'm going to start at the, the bottom and turn it over like that and then roll until we have it completely rolled like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that onto a sheet of aluminium foil with a sheet of parchment paper on top of it like that and I'm going to place that into the centre and then I'm going to fold it over to create a seam but leaving room for the roly-poly to expand and then I'll pinch the ends together so I'm going to place that into the oven on a wire directly onto the wire rack and below that I'm going to put this uh, pan which I'm going to fill with an inch of boiling water and I'm going to put this in the oven and then pour the boiling water into it so that is no danger of spilling and I'm then going to bake that for one hour and 45 minutes now it's likely to crack as it bakes but that's that's usual that doesn't matter and once it's baked I'll take it out and let it cool down for a few minutes and then I'll come back and show you the results now I just need to say that I unwrapped mine and wrapped it again I forgot to turn it over so that the seam was on the back on the bottom so I unwrapped it and turned it over and wrapped it up again. So I'll be back with you in an hour and 45 minutes or so when this has baked. I baked our um, jam roly-poly for uh, an hour and 45 minutes in that uh, parchment paper and aluminium foil. Then I took it out and I let it cool down for five minutes before I opened it. And I've cut it. So this is what it looks like. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's cooked all the way through. If you're not careful with, uh, with these steamed puddings, they can be uh, rather sort of uh, uncooked in the middle. But this is cooked all the way through. And you can see the, the jam. And what I've also done is I've made some custard with custard powder, which is how it would have been made for school dinners. Um, so rather than eggs and milk and sugar and vanilla and such like just the custard powder with milk and a, and a little bit of sugar so I'm actually going to put this slice that I've cut into a bowl and I'm going to pour some custard on it and then I'm going to try it and the custard should be nice and thick I've just got the skin on mine I'll have a taste. So the, the custard's still hot and the uh, pudding is hot, the roly-poly is hot as well.
that does taste very nice and it's not overly sweet because um, a little bit of sugar in the dough and then the, the jam but it does taste very very nice I have to say I'll have another little mouthful Mm. it's firm on the outside now I do think I rolled mine just a little bit too large it was probably more like 12 inches by 9 inches um, I think the 11 by 8 would have made it a slightly fatter round but it, it still worked out perfectly well so that's going to be it for this recipe I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to the recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well and then I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future so until then happy baking. <laughs>